My daughter's on the verge of a nervous breakdown and I'm scared. I'm worried about my daughter's health. My daughter has no one else to talk to. So she uses me to vent and it's very stressful for me and her. We constantly have to keep an eye on Mackenzie because we never know what she's gonna do next. I've seen Mackenzie kick my daughter that has cerebral palsy and hit and it's not right. Oh, my granddaughter cusses me out and she pulled my hair and she kicked me. She flips out over nothing and we don't know why. I mean, normal kids don't do the things that she does. Who stands out in the middle of the street and says, run over me, kill me, I want to die? Something's wrong with her. Yeah, I've said I think she's possessed because she's scary. When I tell Eric that he needs to be more involved with the kids, he says, we aren't hard enough on him. Eric wants us to discipline Mackenzie, and I disagree. I don't like the way Eric whips those kids. Oh, I think Eric is full of excuses, and he needs to grow up and be a dad. Debbie, thank you for being here. You say he's not around enough to know what he's talking about. No, he's not. And he says that he doesn't have the problems with Mackenzie that occur when she is with her mother. He says he whoops her with a belt. And you told us that you think she's too easy on her and that she needs to hit her harder and be tougher with her on discipline. And you said, no, I didn't say that. You did say that. I didn't mean it as in hit her harder, hit her harder. She just needs to come up with a, a better punishment. Um, pushing her down and smacking her in the face and no. I restrain her. Now I don't shove or push her down. You just pushed her down in the video that you, that you sent in to Dr. Phil. It was right there on the television screen. You just pushed her down. I was restraining her and she... No, that's restraining her when you're walking around with a camera going, McKenzie, well, stop point, it, McKenzie, yeah, stop it. I need help. It, I'm in desperate down. for help. So if it took getting a camera in action to even let you see that I'm not exaggerating and what I go through hell every day, mm -hmm. then so be it. I choose to stay away from you because I cannot talk to you, Lisa. And I've told you time and time again. But I think you really get to need to get more involved. Two times a month out of verse in the whole month, Eric, that's not enough time to spend with your kids. I understand that, Debbie. And we've discussed it. We've talked about it. Then do but we just about cannot it. get along. Shame on you people. It's, it's easy to sit up in the cheap seats and criticize what people are doing. But it's harder to say, here's a solution. Nobody I don't have the solution. Okay, well, you know what? If you don't have a solution, then it seems to me that you, you ought to be a little less quick to criticize. And if you haven't been there on a day-to-day -day basis, hour to hour, minute to minute, day after day, it gets a little fatiguing to deal with this. And let me tell all of y'all something. You're a bunch of right fighters is what you are. And criticizing her and you're criticizing him. And the truth is, I I'm sitting here and I know what needs to be done with this child. And ain't neither one of you within a country mile of where you need to be.